Hey guys, Silver27 here, um, and we're back with Phantom of the Kill again, although that's not the main topic of this video, but uh, we're here more to talk about, oh hey, what do you know, it actually worked, um, <laughs> we're here to talk about Fire Emblem Heroes, and with me, I have Jiu-Kun, so say hello, Jiu-Kun. I have him, I have him, uh, you know, tied up in the basement, so. Because he didn't want to do a video the last three, three times, now I got him. Uh, I was, um, doing something, can you try? <laughs> so, so, two weeks ago, Nintendo released Fire Emblem Heroes, which is Fire Emblem mobile game, and... You know, this in this video, I sort of wanted to talk about what what our our thoughts are in about it, and sort of you know like um, what does it like? What do we know about it? What don't we know about it? And what do we want to see in this game? So, um, is there anything you want to bring up first? Anything you want to talk about first? I hope the RNG is good. <laughs> I think I think everybody hopes the RNG is good. Um, so so well, I mean I guess we could talk about the summoning thing. Um, so one thing I noticed was that you know when you summon and if you summon five rows in a time or five times in a row, your total of orbs that you would use would be twenty, right? So. If you were to say, like, okay, I'm only going to summon once, and then, you know, and then after that, the next day, you're like, okay, I'm only going to summon once again, and then the next day again, you would pay five more orbs than you would if you were just to um, use all five at once. Okay. Yes. So what do you think about that? Yes. Yes, I agree. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I think it's pretty cool. Like, we use one and then the, the next summon, do it the same time, will be a cheaper. Yeah. I, I kind of find that helpful. Like, you know, you're not sort of like wasting your your orbs and anything. And uh... also, you could pick the class, too. Is what the, you could have mean. Yeah. Now we have keep summoning to get the, hopefully that one unit that you're not going to get repetitive <coughs> skypers <laughs> uh, do, do you do you think you'll have a skypiercer in uh in uh fire emblem heroes who knows i'll probably get like some like random person i don't know multiple times yeah that's one of the things where like people sort of brought up with what are we gonna do with uh with duplicates you know like uh What's sort of the deal with duplicates? Because at this point, we don't know what we can do with them. We don't know if we'll be able to sell them and get materials. Or uh, if they're just going to be there for the sake of being there. Um, goodbye, Skypers. Yeah. <laughs> so, so the one thing that stuck out with me the most, which I don't know if you were interested as well. I know a lot of people aren't interested in this. But one thing that sort of stuck out to me when, you know, when they sort of showed off the whole thing was the story. Because um, mobile games don't really have story potential. Most people are just sort of like, ah, it's a story. Uh, who cares and everything like that. But I hope it's a story that was like drag on, like through here, where it took me forever just to reach a good point of the story to find out what the heck is going on. <laughs> Because I, I feel like Nintendo can actually do something good with Fire Emblem Heroes. Not like a super amazing story like a 3DS game or a console game. But I feel like they could sort of make something decent uh, with it, you know? And uh, we have like three... Heroes count as like an actual part of the, part of the sequels with the other Fire Emblem games? Or it's just like a spinoff? It's uh, 
It's a spinoff, but they're making it their own thing. Okay. Like, it's another branch, but it is a spinoff. Okay. So, we have, like, four new story characters that... No oh, good. Uh, the thing probably, um... Stop, never mind. Okay, anyways, continuing on. Um, the thing sort of, like, uh, turned off. There's four new characters. One of them is the Prince of Asker. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. The best, all right. <laughs> but he, he's sort of like, um, he's sort of the, the, like, the Marth of this game. He's the main, I'm guessing he's probably going to be the main character. Um, alongside the girl, his name is Alphonse, or Alphonse. We don't know how to pronounce it yet. And the girl's name is Sharina. Sharana, whatever how you want to pronounce that. The villain of this game. Well, well, first, what do you think about those two? What do you think about the protagonist? Hmm. I don't really know. I really never got much of a thought about him. But he seems pretty cool. I hmm. like the design of him. He looks pretty interesting. What about the girl? What about the girl? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Like, I really didn't see much of it. I just saw like that one trailer. Oh, so okay. That's, you know, with Lambo. Yeah. Don't forget to vote for, for Cervantes. So, <laughs> yeah, vote for Cervantes. Um, it, and, and, well, let's talk about the, the, the hero voting thing before we go into that. So right now, Ike and Lynn are in the lead with uh, a few of the other characters sort of behind. I know we sort of talked about this, but do you think Ike and Lynn are going to stay at the top by the end of this? Because we only have two days left at the time of this recording. They should. Uh, it seems like it. Like, popular vote seems to be hosted. Like, everyone loves the, like, the freaking exploder of mountains, Ike. <laughs> those, those long legs, Lynn. Let's say, like, because at the bottom of those two, for the heroes is Roy and Hector. Another Ike. Yeah. Well, Ike before Ike was <laughs> a thing. <laughs> but let's say let's say Roy wins. Uh, yeah. How would you feel? How would you feel about that? No, um, I'll be disappointed because I actually prefer Ike, but I wouldn't mind. Okay. And what about let's say Lucina wins because I think she's second place behind Lynn. Since I do main Lucina on Smash, I'll be very happy, but I do want Lynn mostly. Okay. Or Camilla, you know. Oh, yeah, because I think, think she. Enjoy too. I think she's third, so. Third or fourth, I can't remember too much. Um, so, let the, going back to like the main characters, what do you think about the villain, Veronica? That is always the want to destroy people's lives like what's with these lollies trying to destroy <laughs> this is the reason why you got a lolly <laughs> um i think she's i think she's pretty you know who she reminds me of i know i know you haven't played fates but um she reminds me of nyx who's this like lolly character well she's like a thousand years old but She's sort of like this this lolly character. She reminds me of her when I look at her. What's your name? Nyx. Nyx? Yeah, like Persona 3 Nyx. Oh, no. <laughs> the memories. Okay, your Selena needs to die, by the way. That thing is in my way of victory. <laughs> Mac is going to be here for a while. I know, seriously. Like, this Selena and this uh, Nigling is never going to go down. Okay. And the last one, Mysterious Man. What do you think about Mysterious Man? This guy looks like Tuxedo Mask to me. I don't know if I'm going to like him. The one who's working with the lolly? Uh, yeah. Well, we're not too sure, but from what the trailer, I guess he sort of is look like he's working with her. I don't know. There's just, like, something about him. Like... He doesn't know which side of play. He's like, he seems like he would betray her like any moment. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I feel like this guy is gonna be—he's gonna be like the, 
I'll help you guys out. And then he, like, turns his back. And then he's sort of like, all right, I'll help you guys out again. And then he, like, turns back on you. So, like, Vegeta. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Like, this guy's going to be the anti-hero. I feel like that's what he's going to be. You know, the Vegeta, the shadows of the game. He's, like, going to help out, but at the same time, he has his own agenda. Alright, so now that we got those out of the way, uh, those characters anyways, I feel like now is the time to talk about, um, the gameplay, what we, what we, so the one thing that people have been bringing up, the one thing that people, like, the mechanics of the game is gonna be an energy system. So there is gonna be energy, and, you know, we're gonna use energy to enter maps and everything like that. What what sort of energy energy like time? Do you think it's gonna be five minutes per one energy refill like most games do? Probably. So five and five minute energy. Mm -hmm. It usually is like the standard thing for every other game. Yeah. Um. The microtransactions. What do you think about them? I don't know if you you paid close attention to them, but... Uh, no, no, no Nintendo. <laughs> It'll probably be for fair price for a good amount. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, y you know. Uh, Not to be sarcastic or anything, but you know, it's not like they really want more of my money. <laughs> So, so those microtransactions are, are people people aren't too happy with those microtransactions. Uh, one look and everybody was raging in the comment section. No one loves microtransactions, but it's a way of making out. Yeah. It's not against the law, but it's unfair. Like I I don't mind the microtransactions too much because you know I, I doubt you too either because you know we we sort of play a lot of these gotcha games and anything like that we're sort of used to I'm, I'm very used to it already yeah so we're used to these microtransactions you know you guys can play like all you want but like if you don't want to get it at all just don't buy it yeah hey there will always be like that event where like you'll get like a few free ones so like just save them up like look at Eric over here he's been saving from Panther Kill he's got over 80 well had over 80 <laughs> yeah I had like over over 80 at it, you know but that was mostly through self-determination of saving uh, dude needs to die <laughs> heal her um but what how do you think the how generous do you think the orbs are because from the video it looks like we'll be able to get orbs by clearing maps by doing like missions and everything like that uh you think there's really going to be a need to, like, buy microtransactions? Or do you think this is going to be, you know, free-to-play friendly, quote-unquote, though? Well, it depends how much, like, the cost of the summons are. Hmm. Cause I, I feel like the only reason people will ever use microtransactions is when, like, the big events come out or something like that. And, you know, they have a, a special character. Like a really good banner is out Want to, that one character you're really looking forward to? Yeah. Uh, you know. Yeah, speaking of characters, they finally made Crom look cool. <laughs> well, Crom always looks cool. It's just that he's never in anything. Yeah, but like people made him look like I think he's for the pimp. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um. But what what do you think about like um? So that's the summon system. We're okay with it because, you know, we play a lot of gacha games and anything like that. Um, so somebody brought up the question, which is sort of what I, I wanted to talk about it with, like, Phantom of the Kill. Because it sort of relates to Phantom of the Kill. Um, people were talking about, uh, you know, how is the... Um, how was the star system going to work? Because in Phantom of the Kill, you get a three-star base. When you upgrade it to five-star, it's going to have better stats than a natural-born five-star. Um, and you and me have experienced this through, like, you know, Guy Bulge. You experienced it with, who was it? Was it with uh, um, 
Balmug, I think it was. What? Uh, the Are five star. Yeah. 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 So like you know, people are sort of brought up. Oh, well, in Fire Emblem Heroes, a five star base is gonna be better than a three star base. But I don't. I don't know. Do you think? That a five star base is gonna be better than a three star from like upgrading a three star to a five star. It should be. Because a lot of people are sort of comparing it to Final Fantasy Brave Exvius, which a five star natural born five star is better. I don't think that's the case though. I feel like a three star well, base. Do they do too? Like maybe those like those bonus sets with the, they ever did with like the other previous games. Like bonus sets for Fire Emblem. Yeah, and that's sort of like the one thing where I'm like, guys, are you forgetting how Fire Emblem works or something? Because yeah, that's not really like the case. Like the three star four will get those bonus stats, and like they'll be better than like a natural born five star. Yeah. As it was like extra extra stats bonuses and that. Mhm, and, and you know from the look of it, um, it seems like even a one star hero can go up to five star, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, you know. It seems like, a, a, you know, even if you get a, a one-star hero, you'll be able to make them into a five-star. Uh, do you think that's a good idea? Do you like that? Because I know one game that I could think of that does that is Summoner Summoner War, uh, which I think you said you played too, right? I played for a while. Yeah, same here. And that game, you know, goes from one-star to a five-star. So do you think... You know, you like that concept, or do you think it'd be better if there was, like, okay, one star, like Phantom of the Kill, where it's, like, one star, and it could only go up to, like, four star or something like that. And it can't go to five star. Like five star, because there's some units in here that I do look like, that, like, it looks really cool, but, like, the limitation is only goes so little. Mm-hmm. So... <laughs> One other thing that people have sort of, you know, talked about as well is, uh, or, well, let's, let's, uh, let's talk about just, just to sort of, you know, have fun. Who do you want to pull? Like who, <laughs> like who do you want on like the first day of the release? Cause we know everyone is going to pull on first day of release of the game. And most likely, everyone's going to pick five units. Because they're probably going to give us five to start out with. Or something like that. Who do you want? Like, who do you want? Like, top five characters. I know you don't probably know too much. But, you know, from what you know. Five. From five, I would obviously pick Ike. Mila. Um, maybe Lucina. Cervantes, if I get lucky. <laughs> There was another one character I had I voted for, but I can't remember the name. It was from um, what was the name of it? It was from Blazing Sword, I think. Um, was it was it a female or male? It was a female. Uh, but I can't remember it. Was but it female? Way, yeah, those would have been the kind I would like to pull. Okay. I would like to pull Lynn, um, Nino, uh, let's see, you know who I would, I wouldn't mind, um, I wouldn't mind, uh, who, 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 what is, Joshua, so someone brought up Joshua, you, you probably don't know, but, um, uh, no, <laughs> although I mean, I, I guess I could be him. Um, but somebody, somebody brought up Joshua one time, and I was also like, okay, I, I'd be okay with that too. Um, Tiki, oh, I want Tiki, and you know, just for the sake of it, just for the heck of it, Lobster Bro, I want Lobster Bro. Lobster Bro. Yeah. I want Rayoma. Um, but uh, okay. So now that we now that we got that out of the way, you know, 
hopefully you could pull the characters that you want. Uh, you know. How do you how do you feel about the maps? Because from what we've seen, the maps are a little bit smaller than something compared to like Phantom of the Kill. Uh, well, at least I want to go for a way to go get a freaking enemy that's across the map. <laughs> do you that's like about this. you like the small maps then? Yeah, that way I can kill the enemies quicker. Okay. Yeah, I I also I was a bit iffy on like the whole small small map thing. But then I was like, you know what, I would actually prefer it like this, instead of, you know, like how you said, it takes, like, somebody else brought it up too, where it's like, it takes an hour to beat a map or something like that. Um, so, I sort of like this a little bit better and anything like that. Uh, and then, something else I wanted to bring up, because this caught my attention in the last video that they released. Um, but you know how they have the, the sword axes and then the spears, which are red, blue, and green, right? Right. So, then you have the neutral one, which is bow and arrow, shurikens, and staff units. Yep. So the staff units actually do damage in, uh, in this game, in Fire Emblem Heroes. No, staff units only heal. They would need magic. They would need tomes to actually do magic, or to actually do damage. Which for me is a lot better because it would be really tough bringing like a staff unit, and the only thing they could do is like heal. True. And it's like uh oh, um, and then you know you got the assassins, the shurikens, the ninja dudes. Who uh, <laughs> put put solid snake in the game? Um, and that's I mean, so somebody brought up some something that I sort of wanted to talk about as well. Do you think that Fire Emblem <laughs> Heroes is gonna completely trash Phantom of the Kill? It's a very popular game, and not a lot of people know about what Phantom of the Kill is, so like... Uh-oh. Mm. Okay. Um... Yeah, uh, I don't know, I think it would probably, because a lot more people know what Fire Emblem is, like, there's still not that many people who know what Phantom of the Kill is. Mm. I mean, I'm pretty sure in Japan right now, that's very popular, so like... If that was a thing over there... I would still say Fire Emblem. You'd say Fire Emblem? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, because that's sort of like people were, or people in the Phantom of the Kill community were like, oh, you know, Fire Emblem is gonna, you know, sort of, it's gonna, you know, completely wipe out Phantom of the Kill. Phantom of the Kill is just gonna, like, be non existent after Fire Emblem Heroes comes out. And, uh,. Right very generous like so far like i've been playing it for a while and nothing's been wrong for me yeah like even because because the whole reason why i played phantom of the kill was because i wanted to play a fire emblem game on mobile and the only thing that was closest to that is you know phantom of the kill so the day that you know nintendo was like all right we're finally bringing our you know fire emblem mobile game over here i was like dang you know but at the same time, that's not gonna like, for me anyways. I'm not gonna like put down, uh, Phantom of the Kill. Like, I am still gonna play Phantom of the Kill, and still put a lot of time into it. That's gonna be the game changer, for me at least. What? Black Killers. Once they get over here. Black Killers. Hey, you just gotta wait. Until Fire Emblem has their like swimsuit event, cause you know they're gonna do that. Oh, heck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and always be my leader. <laughs> but uh, a a any any like any thoughts you wanted to like bring up? Cause I think I I pretty much said what I wanted to say at this point. 
Um, is there anything you wanted to shed light on? I just hope for, like, doing the story missions, I won't need to have, like, a specific character with me, because sometimes I really don't like that. Like, mm. this one character that you're supposed to have, but you had it, but for some reason you decided to delete it. Now it says, you need this character in order to continue on the next mission. Oh, okay. Like, I really hope it doesn't end up being like that. Which I doubt it, but, you know, just mm. in case, I need to save that. Okay. Uh, do you think, because we've talked about this as well, and it just came to my mind, but do you think that Nintendo is going to do collabs? Do you I think? Huh? Take all my money? Yes, that's what Nintendo's going to do. Oh, no, yeah. Nintendo's going to take all your money. Like, we, everyone at, at this point knows that. <laughs> <laughs> but um, do you think Nintendo's going to do collabs with other mobile games? Or at least with, like, one of their other franchises? I hope they won't be so stingy about it. Like, I hope they would go. Because, like, let, let's say they don't do a collab with another another, like, company, you know? But let's say... A Legend of Zelda collab. Like, what What would you think if they did that? You know, Link's a sword unit, Zelda's a magic unit. Uh, Sheik would be an assassin, a ninja unit. Like, what would you think about that? That'd be cool, actually. You think that'd be cool? I just hope Mario doesn't bring the mustache in here. It's like, hey, no. <laughs> Super Mario Brothers collab. So, uh, what if they did do a... Now, let's talk about the other collabs, then. How would you feel about, like, let's say they did one with uh, Final Fantasy? I expect to see Noctis. <laughs> Noctis in the game? Yeah. What about, um... Let's see, what other collabs can we... Uh, Brave Frontier. Brave well, Frontier. Marcus will probably be over there because he's pretty much the main one. Mm. But, uh, yeah. I mean, at the point of this recording, there's only like three days left. You would say three or four. Do you count uh, Thursday? Count Wednesdays. Wednesdays. Hmm. Yeah, so. Right. Th so uh, no, I think the second is on Thursday. Uh, but. Yeah. Uh, so. So I mean, you're not. We still got like three days left, depending on which ones you would count. Around. around there. I, won't I can't find it. <laughs> uh, but I mean, yeah, that's that's all there really is left to it. I mean, after this, it's we're finally gonna see, you know, what Nintendo has done. I would like to see a call of Phantom of the Kill with um, Fire Emblem, though, but like, I don't want to get my hopes too high, because I don't really see that happening anytime soon. Yeah, no. Well, maybe, but yeah, I wouldn't get my hopes up too high either. And if that ever happens, like, I'll, I'll be actually pretty surprised. Yeah, same here. That's uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah, anything? Well, we still gotta finish this because your Selena's not dying. Yeah, so is your neither is your Nagalene. It's okay. My T Frank's probably gonna die here. No. Oh, okay. and quick update. We're we'll probably are gonna do like cover the Madoka Magica event, but the reason why we're not doing it right now, or at least in my case, I don't know about Juka, but um. We t like we feel like there's still stuff missing, so we're probably gonna hold off until you know. We know we have everything, and then we'll sort of cover the Madoka Magic event thing. We're expecting a certain characters to be. Yeah, we're expecting at least two more characters. If not, then we're expecting some more stages, of some sort. Uh, yeah. two days. That's a pretty long time for just those stages only. Yeah. Well, well, you know, unless they did that because, you know, that one guy 
Friends of the Kill says, we need more time for this event. And I'm just here like, I already did this. There was way too much time. I need to wait another month for you. <laughs> yeah, I have to say the like 60 day thing is a little, a little bit huge, but I feel like they probably have a reason for it. Uh, they're probably not just going to sort of do it for the sake of time. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. And then uh, the day it probably comes out, I'm probably going to do a video on it, maybe. I don't know. I'm not too sure yet. Because, uh, I don't know. Well, it depends on when it comes out. Because say reasons. Yeah, because reasons, you know. We don't, we don't know what's going on, but I might do a video on that day. Maybe the next day. I don't really know. But, you know, I, I want to do, like, Fire Emblem stuff as well, since they have that now. With Jiu-Kun as well, of course. So. Uh, I can't remember. <laughs> um, but, you know, be on the lookout for that. And uh, that's pretty much it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, Frank.